Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel for another Timu haul. You guys read the title of this video correct. We have $200 worth of product to share with you guys today. And while it is like a variety of products, it's actually semi themed as well. So in this video, you're going to see a lot of home type products with one thing that I am really excited to share with you. That is gonna be the first thing I share because I'm really excited about that. And then I also have some stuff that Kylie picked out um, and so on and so forth. So we have a variety of stuff to share with you guys today. Uh, but first I wanna go ahead and thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. Timu is one of the companies, actually probably one of the two to three companies that I am still working with. One of them, the sort of, goals that I had for this year was to be a lot more genuine in the companies that I work with. And you guys know, if you've been following me at all this year that I have repeatedly worked with Timu. They're one of my favorite companies to work with and they're one of my favorite companies to shop at as well. Um, if you have never shopped at Timu, all you have to do is download the Timu app and you can start shopping away on the app, on the website, on a desktop computer as well. But you can get stuff from Oh my gosh, from home stuff to pool toys and kids things to clothing for adults and children to beauty products. I mean, you name it, they have it on Timu. It is just the most, it's my favorite. It's, it's my favorite. So I do have a code for you guys where you can get a great coupon bundle. If you use my code DPJ6785, you can get a coupon bundle to use on your purchase towards all of your great Timu goodies. Um, if you see anything here that you would like, I will have links to everything down below. And I am going to have prices pop up as we go as well as always. Same kind of spiel that we do every time we do these Timu hauls. It's super easy to search with the code. You can click the link in the description and it will take you there, but you can open your Timu app and just type my code into the search bar there and it'll pull that up for you that way as well. So really easy ways to, you know, use your, use that discount and get the coupon bundle. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Like I said, I have a lot a lot so i have that box there is this whole bag and then there are two more packages over that way they're smaller but there's packages over there as well and i'm gonna kind of try to do it oh now i'm shaking the camera i'm gonna kind of try and do it based on like topic so i'm gonna try and stick with the home stuff first so if i pull something out that's not home related then we'll set it aside and we will get to it when i kind of move on to the next category that's how we're gonna do it today so Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I got is a new bathroom organizer for me. Y'all, I have been seeing these on Timu for a while now, and I finally ended up purchasing, purchasing myself one. If you remember probably a year ago now when I did a, when I worked with Timu on another video, I got a little white organizer and that has been in my bathroom ever since. However, we recently redid Kylie's vanity um, we painted it this really pretty bubblegum pink color and she used her own money to purchase a organizer that is white off of Timu and then she needed another one. So I decided to just give her mine and then I would spring on a nicer one for me and Chris for our bathroom. So it came in this huge box like this was packed by itself. There was nothing else in this package, which I appreciate because this is, um, like a higher quality item that I didn't obviously want to break. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I believe this was, it was between like 25 and $35, but again, the price will pop up. Um, it is this, how do I get this out of here? Oh, I'm so excited. Really big, large organizer here. And it has several different compartments. It's still got some like plastic wrap you can see on the top one there, but you open here and you can put perfumes and lotions and hairsprays. It's got a really deep um, top pocket, which I love. So you can put taller things in there that normally don't fit in them. And then you close it there. Then there is this door that has lots of different little slots for lip glosses, um, like eyeliners, probably like serums, eye creams, anything that would fit in there you have on that side. 
And then on this side, you have several different little things where you can put like smaller eye creams, um, you know, any anything of that nature, even like Q-tips and bobby pins, whatever you wanna store in there. And then there are two drawers, very deep drawers actually, as well. I am so excited. I, um, ever since we got back from the beach, I wanted to go ahead and film this video so that I could clean my bathroom and set this up. So this I wanted to be shared first because it is, I think, the, the find of the video. I'm so excited about this. Can't even say it enough. So that is the first thing that I got. Okay, I moved the bag off of the table in front of me so that I wasn't shaking everything constantly. So next we have here a cooler bag. So sticking with the home theme. So I got this it, with the pool in mind. We, oh, this is a nice bag. We were having um, trouble with, we had a smaller one and we try to pack lunch for the pool or whatever. We didn't have enough space in there. So this one is really deep. It's a backpack style. So you can carry it on your back. And then it also has pockets on either side for drinks. And there are like three pockets in the front, I believe, that you could store. And these ones are not cooler pockets. You could store like your phone or whatever in these pockets. I really like this. I like this even better than I remember when I chose it. And then there's even a front side pocket for your phone or whatever there as well. So if you're just taking like this bag and with drinks and stuff and a um, beach towel, you'll be good to go. So very happy with this. I know that we will use it a lot this summer. And then I'm even thinking like for hiking in the fall to take your cool drinks and your snacks and then just throw it on your back and go hiking with it. How cute is that? Love that. And they did have this in several different colors as well. So really happy with this. I believe it was like $15, so not a bad price at all. Okay. So this isn't necessarily home, but it is like family related. So if you were born in my generation, you probably remember this game. It's that little like square or rectangle box and it comes with all different types of shapes. You can kind of see it better right there. And then you time yourself anywhere from five seconds up to 50 seconds. You time yourself and you try to see how fast you can put all the shapes in there. And then if you don't do it, then it pops like, and they all pop away from you. So it's really fun. It's like a, a, you know, race against the clock style game. And when I saw this, I was like, I need to get this and play this with my kids because I am a big kid at heart. So that is definitely like, I bet we will play it this afternoon if I know my kids well. So I am really, was really excited to see that. The next thing that I got is a pizza cutter. Now, the pizza cutter that we've been using for quite a while now is, uh, was like from the Target dollar spot and it had been falling apart for a while, but I'm just too cheap about some stuff to, to buy a new one. So I decided to order one this time. So this one is a stainless steel, really nice quality. It's got a really nice handle on it. You know, just a standard, I would say, uh, pizza cutter, but this is definitely going to be better than the one that we have been using. So very happy to have that as well. I do have a couple of other like fun things. Oh, so these are salt and pepper shakers. This is something, if I can get them out of here, this stuff is just like packed in, the, in here for this, um, this shipment. Although everything is okay, but yeah, it was definitely packed packed nicely in here. Okay, so these are stainless steel. So we're gonna go in with a theme here, you'll see for the kitchen and they look like this. So this one is for salt. And I think you just, yep, screw the top off and put salt in it. We've been needing some matching ones for a while. I kind of ran out of my other ones that I got that were whole um, greater ones. And I've just been wanting something a little simpler. So that is the salt one. And then the pepper one looks just like it. These are really nice thick glass, stainless steel, like nice quality. I like the, the pepper, the word in cursive there. And then it does have the P and the S on the top as well. These are, these are nice. This is something you would buy, you know, at like a Target or a Walmart or whatever, like the same type of quality. So I'm very happy with that as well. Okay, so this is actually a pizza roller. 
And I got this because the one that I have is like, I don't know, or one of the rubber ones. And this one just seemed really cool. So it's got a handle on it. And so you can roll either this way or rolling out like smaller things. And this one was stainless steel as well. And I just thought like the one that I have, you have to use like this. And I feel like it gets, like if you are on a pan, it gets caught and then it won't roll or whatever. You know what I mean? So this one, you can just roll that way. So I really liked the look of this as well. I thought it looked nice and clean. So I went ahead and got that. I believe that was, I mean, that was the stainless steel products are definitely um, pricier than like the cheaper plasticky type products. But again, I think in all places, not just Timu, you get what you pay for. So I do think that that's important to remember when you are considering um, purchasing something is that no matter where you get it from, you know, you're gonna, you get what you pay for, you know? So, okay, this is something else that I'm excited about. This is something that we have needed for quite a while. This is a key hook station, which I think we're going to put in the laundry room because that's the door that we use the most often to go in and out of. Um, but there's slots, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, there are slots for mail and all types of things in here. So let's go ahead and pull this out of the plastic here. We have lots of bubble wrap. Yes, okay, so this is like a um, farmhouse style with the wood. There's a rack in there to put mail and stuff. There's a little shelf. I think these are magnets. I guess if you had a key or something that had, it came with um, hardware. Couldn't think of the word. I guess if you had a magnet style like key, you could hook it up there that way, but it does also have four double hooks along the bottom there. So we're gonna put this in our um, in our laundry room to store mail, anything else. I don't know what we would store there, like stuff that needs to go to the car, chapstick, whatever, and then keys and stuff there. So this, again, is something that we've needed. Typically, we just kind of throw our keys wherever and then we're searching for them. So I think having a station would do us, do us well. So pretty excited about that. Might get that hung up later today. And then I think the last, home type of thing is this and it this is exactly how it came packaged so these are if i remember correctly little containers for your soap um your dish soap and your hand soap for the yeah they are for the kitchen sink and these ones are like a marbled ceramic so the ones that i have over there now are i think i actually got them from timu as well but they're plastic and I just wanted something a little bit, you know, a little bit of an upgrade. So this one is black, beautiful. Love this so much. I have a marbled like tray right now that the they sit on. So this would this matches it like absolutely perfectly. Um, the only difference is, is that these don't say like soap and hands, but I mean, I think if I remember correctly, and of course this one is locked in here, if I remember correctly, one is white and one is black, so you'll be able to tell, yeah. Oh, the white one's gorgeous. You'll be able to tell the difference. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Look how pretty that is. Oh, yes. This is speaking to me, this one right here. Um, and together, I think they are going to be perfect. Yes. I have so much stuff to like set up after I do this video, like so much to do. Okay, so that is all of the like homey type stuff. Um, and we're gonna set this here because I'm running out of room. We're gonna move on to other type of stuff. So what I did for the um, this video, I actually have two videos in this partnership with Timu. You're seeing this one in June and then there's gonna be one in July as well. And the way they set it up, they wanted me to send them, um, you know, there's a link that you fill it out, but then there was like an extra allotment or amount that they just wanted me to add to a cart and then send to them and they were gonna add it onto the order. So what I did was I let each girl pick the allotment for one of the videos. Bryson isn't interested, he doesn't really like, he never can find stuff that he necessarily likes from Timu. So Kylie picked for this video and then the July video, you're going to see Finley's picks. So Kylie is getting 
quite interesting in the picks that she has been making lately um, with like all things, like spending her money in any way. So we're gonna go ahead and do Kylie's picks. And then there are a few other things that I got um, that just like don't necessarily go into the home category. So starting with Kylie's picks, the first thing that she picked was this three pack set of, I believe these are liquid, um, blushes or high. Okay. So one is a contour, one is a highlighter and one is a blush. Now, does my nine-year-old need to be contouring? Probably not, but I believe this came in a three set. And one thing that I do allow her to do is to use blush and highlighter. So there's one of the liquid blush. These are cute. These are in a nice, I want to open one up. I don't want to open all of her stuff, but we're going to open this blush just so I can show you like what it looks like on the inside. Oh, it's pretty. Okay. She's going to have fun setting all this new stuff up because there's more. Okay. So these are really pretty. So it says new Venper, which I'm assuming is the brand beauty. And it's in this like frosted glass container. And then when you open it, it's a screw top. <gasps> okay. So it's got a nice like thick and I guess you just dot and then it's a clean smell to it too as well. So that's really nice. I like this. These are going to look nice set up. So that's the blush one. And then there is a contour, which I'm assuming is like a, a darker bronzy color and a highlighter. So she was really excited to have these. Um, I know that she's going to be so happy with those. The next thing that she got is this set of Taylor Swift bracelets. I'm actually not really sure why she picked this because she, um, makes a ton of Taylor Swift bracelets, but I guess she saw this one and liked it. So this one says bad boy, which I'm not sure or bad Boyd. There's a D on it. I don't know. Don't know what that one's supposed to be. This one is just a little heart. Oh, it's 1989. Is that bad blood? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that does in fact say bad blood. I think that the L should have been capitalized because all the other letters are, it says bad blood. 1989, a little smiley face. And then this one is plain as well. So this is a 1989 set. She has so many clay bead bracelets. I really don't know what she possibly could be doing with any more of them, but it is what it is. She got this set of artist brushes and these ones aren't, I would say like, super nice ones or anything like that. Like these are definitely more kid friendly, but it's just a set. I and mean, you can find a set like this at like Walmart or Marshall's or, or not Marshall's, um, Hobby Lobby or Michael's or whatever, you know, just an average set. There's several different size and angled um, paint brushes and stuff in there. If you don't know, Kylie is obsessed with painting and all things that. So um, that's definitely something that she will get use out of. This one I thought was packaged really nice. We looked at this when it first came in um, we didn't open it, but we loved how it looked in the packaging. So this is a lover bracelet or I'm sorry. It's a necklace from Taylor Swift and it says lover in cursive there, but then it also came with this little card that says Swifty forever. And it's got a little, like some of her song lyrics on it. And then it came with a box for the necklace. Like if you were giving it as a gift or something, it comes with a little box. So I thought that was really nice. That's very, I think very nice presentation and packaging for, um, a, a Timu type of product. Like I'm, this is almost like something you would get off of like Etsy or something. Um, like the quality of the packaging and the extra details and all of that. So these are jelly blushes, like jelly water tint type blushes for girls. And there are four different ones. So there's a red, a poppy, a berry, and a coral. And this is what the box looks like. And the same thing with the other things, we're gonna, we're gonna open one of them up. I thought they came in a set when she ordered them. And she thought, I think that they did as well, but you had to, I guess, purchase each one of them individually. So the price that I have that'll pop up is the price for one of them. So she has all four colors that they offer, which is cool. So they come in this little like pink tube type thing. And it says the name of the color on the outside. And then when you open it, oh, okay. So it's literally, that is cool. So it's literally like a little, you know, oh, 
Okay, 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 okay. This is interesting. So it's it's jelly. That's what it looks like when I first like. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing I'm gonna have to warn Kylie about is that it sets very fast. Like there's not much um, blending opportunity once you put it on. But that's the color of the coral. It's pretty. If you can see that there. Um, so these are pretty. That's cool. Interesting. Okay, so she has red, poppy, berry, and the coral one. So four more little blush options. That smells, you know, doesn't have a scent to add to her, her stuff there. Um, she has a few more little like jewelry type of things. And then we have some stuffed animals as well. This is a ankle bracelet. So this is really pretty for summertime. So it's a little sunflower anklet that I'm sure she will be wearing all summer long. So that's fun. I believe that was, I mean, I'm sure that was no more than a couple of dollars. She got a couple of little like keychain style things. So she told me that she actually had this one previously. And when we went to Pennsylvania last summer to see my sister and my niece, she left it there. So she wanted to repurchase this. This is a little penguin in a bear costume. He's cute. And then it does have the little keychain thing. She loves the little Squishmallow like clips or keychains or whatever they hang off of her stuffed animal rope in her room. So I'm sure that's where she's going to put this, but she got that to go to replace the one that she left. And then she did pick this up, which I believe she will put on her backpack this year. I mean, I can't bear, you know, 100% say that, but that's what I'm assuming what she, her thought was. It's one of those keychains that has the um, initial on it. So there's a K, which is a really nice, like, um, thick resin K with little hearts in it. There's a little tassel and then there is a puffy ball as well. And it gives you the option of clipping it onto something or doing it as a keychain. So I'm assuming she'll put this on her backpack. She has a K one that is semi similar to this that my sister actually bought her. Um, but I don't know what her, what her thought is for this. She probably just thought it was cute and picked it up. And she almost bought another one at Claire's when we were at the beach. And I was like, don't you have one coming from Timu? And she was like, oh yeah. She forgets what she's, what she's doing. This is the last thing. I'm not going to open it because it's pretty self-explanatory. This is just a claw clip. It's a like periwinkle colored um, flower. Really nice. She's into claw clips. And this is a big one, which is good because she has so much hair, so much hair. Um, so this will fit over her hair nicely. So that's all. Nope, that's not all. So she did get a couple of little stuffed animals as well. Now, I do want to say that these actually shipped from a separate warehouse than the typical Timu warehouse, I guess. These ones are from their newer local warehouse, um, which I think is really cool. You do have to spend a certain amount of money out of that warehouse in order to get free shipping, but you do get the products a lot faster. So if you notice, if you go onto your Timu app on the picture, it'll actually say um, local warehouse. And that's how, you know, I think these came from California, but from the time that I got a shipping notification, they were here in like three days top. So you definitely get it faster. So that's pretty cool. So what we got from the local warehouse were these few stuffed animals, like Squishmallow style stuffed animals that have been stuffed in a bag and, um, for shipping. So they're a little flat, but you'll get the idea. Um, so this one's a little cowl. He's cute. Um, so I actually have two of these cows. I have a, this blue one and a yellow one. I'll show you in a second that is actually Finley's. Um, I guess since it was from a local warehouse, they went ahead and shipped that together. Um, even though her pick was like on the next video or whatever, but I'll go ahead and share it with you in this video. But this one's super cute. It's really soft and it's got a good amount of fluff in it. Sometimes you see, um, Timu ones that don't have the best amount of fluff, but this one's really cute. He needs some, you know, some, playing with him to get him back to the correct shape that he's supposed to be. But that is just because of how they ship them, which, you know, that's what you got to do. If you ship stuff animals big like that, you'd be using up a lot more space. And <laughs> so this one's a pig, but look how flat he is. Okay. So we're going to have to play with the piggy a little bit, I think, to get him back to a uh, good consistency. And I might just make Kylie do that at a later time, but I can show you. <laughs> He's funny. I can show you the gist of, of what he looks like, I guess. 
Um, but yeah, they, I mean, just because of the way they package them, it's, it's flat. Sometimes you order Squishmallows and they come like that too. So it's not really anything, uh, necessarily just that Timu does, but this is a little piggy. He's cute. He's got, um, his little hands in the middle there and his little, his little feet. Yeah. He just needs played with and the wrinkles gotten out of his fur and, and all that. And he'll look a lot better, but yeah, just me playing with him for a minute. He looks way better. So these are the two stuffed animals that Kylie picked. And then, like I said, Finley picked one for her order as well, but it came, I guess, from the same warehouse. So they went ahead and shipped it. I believe it is the same as the blue cowl. It's just yellow and flat again, but yeah, he's the same cow. We just gotta, just gotta play with him and get him back to his, uh, his old glory, his full glory, whatever you want to say. We just gotta play with him, you know? So that one is Finley's. <laughs> this one's sadder than the other one was. Uh, but yeah, I'll work on him and get him. Oh, there you go. I'm just popping him up like that. He looks way better. Okay. So those are all the things, I think those are the three things that came from the local warehouse. I have a few more things to share with you. Like I swear this order is never ending. So these little fake nails I actually got for myself. Um, so these are a pink fake nail and I have a ton of them coming in the next order because I'm a ton of them coming in the next order because I'm on the simpler way of going for the summer with the pool. I, I, they're gonna like fall off anyway. So I'm doing it like a lot easier. So I got these pink French tip ones, either for me or Kylie. These ones here that I have on are actually Gel X that I did and hand painted before we went to the beach. And they've only been on just over a week. And I mean, they're they're fine, they're, nothing's falling off, but the sand and the ocean definitely did a number on them, which is why I'm not gonna spend nine years doing my nails all summer. We'll just go with some some press-ons. So that is only, the only press-ons that I got in this video or in this, this order. I got a couple of different sets of markers for the girls to go in the art room. So for Kylie, I actually got her acrylic paint markers and these are loud when you shake them because they've got like a shaker ball in them to help. But this was a set of six. You got blue, purple, brown, green, orange, and pink. Um, she loves acrylic paint markers. I love acrylic paint markers. It makes life so much more precise when you're trying to paint. Um, these are like the best. And I think that a lot of the reviews were comparing these ones to Posca's, which are super expensive. So I will update and let you know. But these ones were the ones that I picked for Kylie. And then the ones that I picked for Finley are actually a set of washable watercolor markers. So it's like your watercolor painting, but not. So hers came in a little like container. I don't want them to all fall out. Oh, okay. So they're actually really nicely in there. They snap down into their little spot. Um, and I'm sure that they might use each other's and all that as well. But these ones I picked specifically for Finley and the paint markers, cause they're acrylic paint markers for Kylie. Two more things. <laughs> this is a 30 minute video. So I actually picked some paintbrushes before Ky I saw Kylie's order and I had already like submitted it. So these ones are nicer. They're a higher quality paintbrush. Um, and I think what I'll do is keep these ones downstairs with my watercolor paint. I have a whole watercolor paint set and watercolor paper and all of that because I'd also like to do art. Um, and I think I'll keep these ones downstairs because if they go up to the art room, there's no telling what's gonna happen. So these ones will stay downstairs with me. And then the final thing that I have to share with you, maybe I should have shared this in the home area, but this is actually a splash pad sprinkler. My thought process for this one is to use when Georgia is here and the girls so we can set it up and they can all play outside on days that we don't go to the pool, which is usually Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and this is actually quite large. I was gonna unfold it so you could see. Um, but it's just one of those that like fills up like a little pool and then the water comes out all around. So that'll be fun. We also got some reusable water balloons that I purchased from Timu. Um, and they came on one of my like orders right before we went to the beach. I think there's a pack of like 20 of them. So, you know, put the water balloons in the bottom of there, of the little pool that fills up and the kids will have a blast. 
that is everything that I got now that I've been talking for 32 minutes. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to use my code so that you can get a coupon discount as well. Thank you again to Timu for sponsoring today's video and I will see you guys for another Timu haul in July. And that one is more like clothing for me, nail type of stuff, Finley's picks, all of that. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys.